this YouTube channel that you're watching right now just reached over a billion views. I never ever thought I'd reach a billion views. It turns out that you all like cake art just as much as I do. So I am celebrating with the cake. But not just any old cake. A cake that I know I will have fun making. Because this cake involves me hand sculpting a little critter. And while I work on today's cake, I'm going to talk about some of the wild changes that have happened to this channel while I made my way up to a billion views. My name is Natalie Sidesurf and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna to show you how I made a hermit crab cake. When I first started making hyper-realistic cakes of objects 10 years ago, the feedback I got was mixed. My cake style has always been realistic. I've always made human portraits, animals, and objects, because that's what I like making in cake. And when I just started making realistic cakes way back when, a lot of people really enjoyed them. They were surprised, enthusiastic, and very interested to learn how my cakes were made, which is why I started my YouTube channel, to show you how I make these crazy cakes. While a lot of people loved my cakes, some felt quite the opposite. I got a lot of repeat comments letting me know that they were not into my cakes. Some of the greatest hits were, who would want to eat that? No one's gonna buy that. You have too much time on your hands. I bet it tastes bad. Barf emoji. Your cakes are pointless. Looks cool, but it's all fondant. I don't even use fondant. I am 100% totally fine with people being honest and letting me know how they really feel about my cakes. I swear, it really doesn't bother me. Like, I get it. Especially when I first started 10 years ago. My cakes were hyper-realistic and not like anything most people had ever seen before. And when people aren't familiar with something, a percentage of those people are just not gonna like it. But as time went on and I made more and more weird cakes, hundreds of millions of people started seeing them. And then something happened. They became an online trend. And people who didn't like my cakes at first changed their minds. My cakes became more and more familiar to them. And some of their opinions just flipped. They actually grew to like them. And then they looked forward to seeing a new cake each week, which I think is pretty cool. I'm happy they came around. You ever meet someone who you didn't like at first, but once you were around them more, you got to know them and you started to understand them better. And then you ended up really liking them. It's kind of like that. <laughs> Another crazy easy thing that happened as my cakes reached more and more people was that people started getting inspired by my cakes. At least that's what they were telling me. I do the same thing. Sometimes I'll find someone's art online and I'll just get super excited to create my own. So inspired. I love when that happens. It's such a great feeling. It's like a mini inspirational adrenaline rush. I find a plethora of creativity right here on YouTube. So if I'm ever feeling uninspired and I'm not sure what to make, I research other artists' work or I just ask you all directly. What do you want to see in cake? When I was a kid, the internet was a very different place. And when I was really young. YouTube didn't even exist yet. I'm actually 85 years old. <laughs> but for real, when I was young, YouTube was an awesome place, but a very different kind of awesome than it is today. While there are some things that I miss about old YouTube that would never fly right now, <laughs> there are definitely a lot of amazing things about current YouTube. The sheer amount of independent artists on here is just fantastic. It's such a great way to showcase your work. And the fact that a random passionate cake sculptor from Texas can have her work seen by over a billion people. That's mind blowing. I don't even have any words for that. Grateful, that's the word, that's the only word I can pick up. <laughs> Over the years, as my art got more popular, my business has changed a lot. When I first started Side Surf Cake Studio, I made cakes for local customers. And I am extremely appreciative of those customers. They were a huge part of how I was able to grow my business. But as my cake art grew in popularity online, I cut back on taking those local orders. Because the thing about taking local commissions is that I don't have the freedom to make decisions or changes to the cake design that I think would result in my best art. Instead, the customer makes those decisions. The cake must be this theme for this event, this color, and this size. And that all makes perfect sense. It's their celebration and I support them ordering the exact cake they want. But now that my channel has grown, I'm able to focus on making cakes for all of you. I get to be inspired by all your cake ideas and every Monday I post a brand new cake of whatever I want and whatever I think that you all will like. 
Another perk of making cakes for you guys is that I can experiment and try out new techniques. And if I mess up, it's totally fine because I can either fix it or I can change my cake design completely. I definitely couldn't do that if I was making a cake for a customer. Now, don't get me wrong. I think customer orders are a fantastic way to run a cake business. There really is nothing like handing a cake over to somebody and them just being absolutely thrilled with their cake. I really miss that part. I've made quite a few customers cry. Cry because they're happy. A customer cake can represent a lot of emotion. And that's really what's awesome about cakes. They are often used to celebrate celebratory things in people's lives. It's really beautiful if you think about it. <laughs> I love that I create art with a medium that has such a rich, positive history. I gotta give a huge thank you to all of you who support me by regularly watching my videos. I read your comments and I see your likes and I can't thank you enough. You help me reach over a billion views on this channel. And if you're new to this channel, is a billion views enough to get you to subscribe? <laughs> subscribe if you like hyper-realistic cakes. I post a new one every week. And there you have it, a little itty bitty hermit crab cake. It's a crab cake. <laughs> now let's cut it. I'll see you next week for another cake. <laughs>